Okay, I had a comment that there should be a large inrush uh, of amperage on a resistance load like an electric heater, and I wanted to see if there actually was a large inrush that slowed down once the elements heated up. So uh, let's see how this works. Okay, we're showing 10.8 ohms across the element cold before we've started it up. Now we're going to hook this thing up uh, in voltage. You can see it in voltage there on the left. And I've got an ammeter on there. So we're going to be able to tell what the voltage and the amperage is on this. And yes, uh, we're showing 241.3 and 20, I think it gets down to 20.3 before we're done. So we're going to do some calculations here to determine what the actual resistance is. Okay, we can use EIR to calculate this. And uh, we had 241.3 volts. We divide that by the one, uh, the 10.8 ohms resistance that we read in cold. Uh, and that equals uh, potentially 22.3 amps if the element was cold. Then we take the readings we actually got, 241.3 on the voltage again, and we had 20.3 amps. If we do the EIR calculation, we end up with the calculated ohms of 11.89. So the difference in resistance between a cold element and a hot element is 11.89 ohms minus 10.8 ohms and it equals 1.09 ohms. So the actual resistance change by the temperature of the element is not a whole lot. Uh, you're looking at uh, 2 amps uh, in the amp draw. So I hope this makes sense. Uh, resistance loads do not have real large inrush currents.